Good evening and welcome, my dear friends, to our first night of our nine-day novena in honour of St. Francis of Assisi. And I welcome you here at this time. And before we begin, if you have a candle handy, would you like to light your candle with ours and together form a circle of light around this beautiful world? a world where many are hurting, many of God's children are wounded in mind, body and spirit because they are our brothers and sisters. So with this light, we honour the divine who created us, the cosmic Christ who loves life, the spirit of God who is the fire of life. In honour of Mother Earth, Gaia, our Earth Mother, and Mother Mary, our spiritual mother, who both nurtured the divine in all life. And in the name of all faith traditions and none, for they too are the children of God, our brothers and sisters. So welcome, welcome. And I would like to play for you now, if I may, Here I Am. Thank 
lovely to start our novena. Here I am. <clears throat> As we gather around this table of love, we are mindful of the many gifts that we are given, gifts that we so often take for granted, like the air that we breathe, the food that we eat, and those who provide that food, the farmers, so now as we come together in love, we celebrate our gratitude to God. To whoever your God Goddess may be, it is always good to be mindful and to say thank you. So my purpose of running this novena is to thank Almighty God for Francis of Assisi where he introduced my heart to a simpler way of living, where less is more, and where the animal kingdom play an important part in our faith journey. We don't see animals as mere things to, to wound, to offend, to cause pain to. Animals are messengers of God. They find us and they bring so much comfort and love. And for anyone watching who is a lover of animals and who has a pet or pets, as we do here, they will know that in times of illness, guess who's always by your side? Your pet. Because they take on board our suffering they relieve us of our inner pain and their very presence is a gift from God. So let us just reflect for a moment on all the amazing gifts that we have received. Let us be still now. Let us come back to our heart, our teacher, the gateway to our soul, our higher self, the gateway to God, the gateway to Nirvana, 
the gateway to peace. And I would like to read to you a beautiful message from the Cosmic Cries for tonight. <clears throat> Come to me and listen. Attune yourself to my voice and receive my richest blessings. Marvel at the wonder of communing with the creator of the universe while sitting in the comfort of your own home. Kings who reign on earth tend to make themselves inaccessible. Ordinary people almost never gain an audience with them. Even dignitaries must plough through red tape and protocol in order to speak with royalty. Though I am king of the universe, I am totally accessible to you. I am with you wherever you are. Nothing can separate you from me or you from my presence. When I cried out from the cross, it is finished. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. This opened the way for you to meet me face to face. With no need of protocol or priests, I, the King of Kings, am your constant companion. What powerful words! Let us reflect on them. And let us use our gift of free will as we come into the presence of God. A God who has many names, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, I am Presence, Supreme Source, Creator. Let us use that gift of free will and now invite, invoke and call upon our God of love. Because unless we ask, we don't receive. And it is by asking from a place of love that we receive. So let us now just silently, quietly, call on the cosmic Christ and ask him to come into our hearts and speak to us. And as we listen in the silence, we become aware of the messengers of God the angelic realm, who come to us during those times, those lean times, those challenging times, and offer us sanctuary in their peace. We now invite and invoke and call upon the great Metatron, Michael, Raphael, Uriel, Israel, Gabriel, Zadkiel, Moroni, Aziel, and many, many more to come and join us as we present our hearts to God in thanksgiving for God's abundance in our lives. Come with me and sit with me in the Franklara Abbey of Peace, 
in the eight acres of beautiful woodland nearby. There is a stillness there. You can hear every wild animal singing its praises to God. And all around us, there is beauty. Beauty that God has created out of love. Let us visualize in this sacred oasis a cathedral of light that has no walls where the children of God of different color and creed can come together and celebrate their uniqueness as a child of God, a child of love, as a beloved. And as we sit together, we form a circle of light. And in that woodland, there is a stone monolith in a circle of grass and beside it a beautiful old oak tree where we placed the Teo symbol several weeks ago invoking Saint Francis to watch over it. So let us form a circle of light. Let us come as children of love and experience the healing touch of nature. Let us experience Gaia's love for us as she pours her energy up through our feet, resting on the grass. And all around us, we are aware of the squirrel, a myriad of beautiful birds, pheasants, wildlife, and everything is working together to allow you and me be still and celebrate God's gift to us. And a part of that gifting this evening, I received a beautiful gift from Angela McGurr. And it's called The Ritual for Abundance with Zadkiel and Other Angels. And I thanked Angela for this beautiful gift, which I'm sharing now. Angela says, first consider yourself and your life. What sort of abundance are you seeking and why? Will you share it? Bear in mind that you could wish for abundance of health, happiness, money, love, spiritual development. The list is infinite. But here is an example of an affirmation. I am grounded and safe and with the help of my angels I open my higher heart to radiate love and light to the universe in return for the healing power of earth, air, water, fire and spirit that nourish me and give me birth. I pledge to share all I receive with Mother Earth and all sentient life. As microcosm, I strive to grow in spiritual consciousness towards macrocosm, for I am part of all, and the spark of the divine is within me. 
the waters of non-linear time flow through me and will bring me the abundance I need in the sacred cause of love and light even in surpassing ways. In accordance with the universal laws, I shall return good for good as an expression of my eternal gratitude to the Creator and Truth. As above, so below. As below, so above as within, so without, as without, so within. Let us just be still. And now we read aloud our affirmation, ensuring we set a linear time limit for the angels and other light beings, time is really non-linear. As the angels of the elements, fuel, lord of the waters, Uriel, ruler of fire and aerial of earth and air, and seraphiel of spirit to carry your affirmation to the universe, and Ruel, guardian angel of the winds, to carry and speed your affirmation on its way. So let us now ask for what it is our heart requests for our highest good and the good of mankind. I would like to thank Almighty God for offering us the land and now I place that land here and all that it needs to bring it to fruition as a healing sanctuary for peace and for unity within the Frank Clara Abbey of Peace and Compassion. And that God who sees our needs will provide and we thank God. So we let go of our intention and then try to forget about it. We do not interfere with it because if we do, then it will be delayed. And I have lit several candles this evening behind me which will burn for seven days. And it says, as part of the ritual, if you can, leave your candle to burn out. If not, pinch or snuff out as you lose 40% of its energy by blowing it out. Remembering as you do so, thank Sadkil and all the other angels you invoked from your heart for their support and assistance. Let us now give thanks for Zadkiel and all the great Archangel Princes, together with the angels of earth and heaven, to come to us now and to bless, to bless this novena of prayer. And we begin with a beautiful prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light, and where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, 
for it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And for our first day, we begin with our first prayer. O oh God, come to our assistance. Heavenly Father, Mother God, you know all things and nothing is hidden from you. In your mercy and in your kindness, and through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi, come to my aid in my present distress and grant my humble petition. And here we mention whatever request that weighs heavy on your heart. Amen. Your offering today, tonight, show your humility by doing a good deed for someone tonight or tomorrow. And now let us just be still. Be still in the presence of all that is sacred to you. Be still. For you and I are here out of love. And though many were called to the table of many blessings, those of us who are here will be blessed indeed by God. For whatever you do or give in my name, you do it for me, said Jesus. And it is more blessed to give than to receive. Just quietly, let us be mindful of the light, the flame of love, of God's love, encircling each one of us as we come now into the presence of love. And we give thanks to God for all that we have received for all the many graces and blessings from the moment we were born right up to the present moment, we give thanks. And we celebrate this novena through the power of prayer, a prayer of gratitude, a prayer of love, for all our brothers and sisters of the Teo community and all our members and friends and those who support us, those who pray for us, we light this light for them to say thank you, Father, Mother, God, in the presence of all that is. cathedral of God, the landscape, surrounded by all of God's little creatures and helpers, and they are showing us how much they love us, because of the love we demonstrate and share with them. Be still now. And as we blow out our light, we send love, light and blessing to the world and to you. And as we gather and collect our thoughts, we say thank you God. 